start we'll start off with having uh senators and staff uh do self introductions starting with my right senator Iba. senator senator teresa Iba, district 44. Senator Rick Holcroft, District 36. Senator Barry Decay, District 40. Uh, there'll be other senators joining us. Uh, some of them are currently up in uh, exec. They must have a long exec going with Senator McKinney, uh, his bill up there. I would also like to start off by introducing our committee, Pages Lo Lo Logan Vertek uh, from North Fork, who is a political science and criminology major at UNL and uh, Isabel Cold from Omaha, who is a political science major and pre-law major at UNL. This afternoon, we'll be taking up five bills, and we'll be taking them up in the order that was listed outside the room. On the tables in the back of the room, you'll find a blue testifier sheet. If you are planning to testify today, please fill out one of those and hand it to the pages when you come up. Just make sure we have accurate records. If you do not wish to testify, or somebody before you said the exact same thing that you're about to say, uh, fill out one of the orange sheets. That way your presence is recorded at the hearing and your position on the bill. I will also note the legislature policy that all letters must be, for the, uh, for the record, must be received by the committee noon the prior day to the hearing. Any handouts submitted by a testifier we ask that you bring uh, will be included in the exhibits and we ask that you have 10 hand, uh, copies for the committee. If not, the pages will make copies for you. Testimony for each bill will begin with the introducer's opening statement. After the opening statement, the, you will hear from the supporters of the bill, then opposition, followed by those in a neutral capacity. The inter introducer of the bill will be given the opportunity to make closing statements if they wish to do so. We ask that you begin the testimony by giving your first and last name and spell both of them. We will be using the three minute light system. When you begin your testimony and the light will turn green, uh, followed by one minute, it'll turn yellow, and then red, we will ask you to wrap up your thoughts. I want to remind everyone, including senators, to please turn off your cell phones or put them on vibrate. And with that, we will begin today's hearing with LB334. Much better than Senator McDonald, just want you to know that. <laughs> Thank you, Chairman Wayne and members of the Judiciary Committee from hearing from us today. My name is Tim Pendrell, T-I-M-P-E-N-D-R-E-L-L, -L, and I am filling in for Senator Mike McDonald from Legislative District 5, who could not be here today. The purpose of the Reentry Housing Network Act is to create minimum standards for reentry housing facilities throughout Nebraska and encourage the development of beneficial programming for those reentering society. Reentry housing provides a necessary stepping stone for those transitioning back into their communities. It supports successful reintegration and helps reduce recidivism by providing access to employment, treatment, and programming. Reentry housing is a form of housing for individuals leaving prison, offering varying levels of supervision and services. These facilities are either run by private nonprofits or businesses and vary in size, conditions, and the amount of programming they provide. It is often a condition of release that parolees or probationers reside in these homes, which can be difficult <laughs> to access due to criminal history or wait lists. The majority of transitional housing is not under contract with the state, but receives payment from parole, probation, or the Department of Corrections through vouchers or reimbursement. Rates may vary, but the state can expect to pay up to $90 a day or $2,700 per month for these services. The, the new State Advisory Committee on Reentry Housing will be established within the Nebraska Commission on Law Enforcement and Criminal Justice, or just Crime Commission. This advisory committee will be devoted to closely overseeing key performance metrics such as expenses and program utilization. Through tracking data on cost, usage, and the results of these initiatives, the committee can provide feedback that ultimately allows for continual improvement in performance over time. By creating a more comprehensive system, we can help those transitioning back into society to have a safe place to live and the resources they need to succeed. LB 334 will be a force for good, facilitating the creation of reentry housing initiatives, which can have an impact on crime and recidivism rates. 
It's essential that those who are released from prison receive the support they need to move forward with their lives responsibly and become contributing members of society again. In Nebraska, we have some reliable and well-equipped transitional housing providers, such as Bristol Station, MHA, and Heartland Bridges with Heartland Family Services. Unfortunately, we don't have enough of them across the state with the programming capabilities to guarantee that inmates who are reentering society will be set up to succeed. LV 334 helps to fill this gap, ensures a baseline standard for reentry housing, and sets the path to give reentering individuals a long runway as they reenter the community. We believe that the Reentry Housing Network Act is an important tool for addressing recidivism and helping those returning from correctional facilities to reintegrate back into society in a positive way with access to employment, treatment, and programming support. It's our hope that LB 334 will be passed and implemented so that Nebraska can move forward with providing safe housing for those transitioning back into their communities. Making sure our friends and neighbors are safe, secure, and have a place to call home is something we can all get behind. We look forward to working together to pass LB 334 and address the need for increased reentry housing in Nebraska. Thank you again for your consideration of this bill, which would create the Reentry Housing Network Act. It's an honor to be here representing Senator McDonald and look forward to working with everybody to get this passed. Thank you. It's a uh, tradition that we don't ask. Uh, Staff questions, but in judiciary, we break that tradition. Any questions? Okay. <laughs> it's disappointing because I would love to. <laughs> Thank I, you. I would have one. Just no, you really, we really, we really don't. Answer. We really don't. No. I knew you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll follow up with McDonald with any questions. Thank you.